Hello again, Jared Case here, curator of film exhibitions at the Dryden Theater and the George Eastman Museum with another streaming recommendation. Sundays. Sundays we have been uh, focusing on recipients of the George Eastman Award. These are uh, directors, actors, actresses, uh, cinematographers that have made uh, such an impact, such a contribution to the art and science of filmmaking uh, that we decide that they're deserving of award. And it's been going on for nearly 70 years now. Uh, so we've been working our way back in time and we're down to 2012. In 2012, we gave the George Eastman Award to Richard Gere. So as I was looking through, uh, trying to find which film I would think I would like to recommend uh, for streaming, if you are in the mood for a Richard Gere film, I came uh, to several films, uh, four of them actually, that are streaming on Amazon Prime. Some that I had seen before, some that I went back and watched uh, again, and I decided to do something a little bit different. So these four films are separated each by about a decade, so you can get an overview of Gear's career. And they're all on the same system. They're all streaming on Amazon Prime Video. So I thought it might be fun to just take them one by one and uh, see where we get. So the first one is actually uh, American Gigolo, which is from 1980. This is Paul Schrader's follow-up to films like Taxi Driver in the mid to late 70s. And it is about Gear as an escort who gets framed for murder and has to find his way out of this. A decade later, in 1990, the same year that uh, Pretty Woman came out, and of course that stars another one of our George Eastman Award recipients, Julia Roberts, in 1990 he had a film called Internal Affairs, which showed him as a, a dirty cop, uh, someone who's trying to take care of his family, but also someone who was breaking the rules, and the Internal Affairs officer that uh, decides to take him down is played by Andy Garcia. That's the same year that he was in The Godfather Part Three, so really starting to rise uh, in his career at that point in time. One decade later, in the year 2000, this uh, was the, the release of Dr. T and the Women. Uh, it's a film that I probably would put out there, uh, propose more than other people. I know it's not received very well, but it's a Robert Altman film that I think is really underseen and... Um, could certainly use a re-examination and another watch. Uh, it's about uh, Dr. T. This is Dr. Travis, played by Richard Gere, who is an OBGYN in Dallas, and he surrounds himself with women. He's uh, got a wife. He's got two daughters. He's got uh, his sister, who has moved in with him, who has three daughters as well, and he works in an OBGYN office. All of his staff are women, uh, and it, it's really about how the thing that you pride yourself on, uh, you surround yourself with, can really be the thing that destroys you. I know it's very gendered in sort of that role, but I, I like the message uh, in that. And um, it can be, you know, particularly, I would think that if you're a woman, some of the, uh, uh, not hospital, but the doctor's room scenes are not exactly fun to watch, but they're not, they're not graphic or anything. It's just being in that situation. Anyway, an underseen film that I, I like quite a bit. And then just about a decade later in 2012, uh, he came out with Arbitrage. This was the same year that he actually received the award. So later in that year, uh, he got quite a bit of notice for this film Arbitrage, uh, which is stars gear as uh, a corporate trader type, um, very high up in the world, uh, who has made a mistake with Russia. He's invested in a copper mine and... Uh, it's not quite putting out what he expected it to, and he has uh, shorted uh, his investors to the tune of $400 million. So he's trying to sell his company and get out of that. Meanwhile, he's having an affair. It's a twisty little uh, thriller, a slow-burning thriller. Uh, probably, of the four, I would say uh, Gear's best performance of the four. Uh, my favorite, probably Dr. T. The most influential, I guess it would be uh, American Gigolo. Uh, but if you want to see something a little bit more off the beaten path, if you're in the mood for a thriller, try Internal Affairs. These are all on Amazon Prime Video, all starring Richard Gere. You can watch them all and get a sense of his career. Uh, but come back uh, tomorrow for another streaming recommendation. Thanks.